Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS uh, Solving question or uh, solve of the question is one of the best way to prepare yourself for MRCS exam It will be very helpful for prepare for a MRCS exam and pass the MRCS exam So here the question a 43 years old man is stabbed outside a nightclub he suffers a transaction of his median nerve just at it leaves the brachial plexus which of this following feature is least likely to ensure so here a 43 uh, years old man is stabbed outside the nightclub and transaction of his median nerve just leaves the brachial plexus so median nerve is transacted as it origin or close to it is origin from the brachial plexus so will fissure will least likely present that means what is not the function of the median nerve so what is not the function of the median nerve first we have to know what are the functions of the median nerve so here we can see the options ulnar deviation of the wrist complete loss of wrist flexion loss of pronation loss of flexion at the thumb joint and inability to oppose the thumb so here we can see the median nerve the median nerve arises from the brachial plexus close to here so probably it cuts along this so all the functions of the median nerve will be lost median nerve is going down down and it crosses the uh, elbow joint and finally it reaches in the uh, forearm and hand and it supplies the different area we can see the it is the median nerve when it crosses the anticubital fossa it uh, gives a branch anterior interosseous nerve and main median branch and the main median branch supplies the almost all of the flexure of the forearm except uh, two and a half muscles which is supplied by the ulnar nerve then it uh, comes uh, uh, below the carpal uh, below the carpal tunnel or uh, through the carpal tunnel it enters into the finger and it uh, receives sensory innervation from three and half finger uh, in the palma surface and in the dorsal uh, surface it uh, receives uh, sensation from the uh, nail bed so here and some of the here the thinner muscles uh, which supplies the thumb they also be their function will be impaired so almost all of the flexor muscles of the forearm and muscles of the uh, thumb that means thinner muscles will uh, supply uh, usually supplied by the median nerve and in the forearm two and half muscle is supplied by the ulnar nerve rest all flexor muscles are supplied by the median nerve and from the thinner muscle are supplied by the median nerve and we can see the if injury occur to the median nerve then what will occur loss of median nerve uh, loss of median nerve function will result in loss of function of the flexor muscles of the forearm except two and half muscles then flexor carpi ulnaris, uh, ulnaris will be functional as this is supplied by the ulnar nerve so ulnar deviation occurs and high median nerve lesion usually complete loss of flexion of the thumb joint so here our answer the complete loss of the wrist function it will uh, not uh, because the forearm flexor uh, some of the forearm the flexor, flexor is supplied by the ulnar nerve so wrist flexion is not completely impaired it is partially impaired but not completely uh, impaired on the other hand the ulnar deviation of the wrist occur because the ulnar nerve is functional so due to inactivity of the ulnar nerve the wrist will deviate it to the ulnar side and loss of pronation we know that there are two pronator muscle this two pronator muscle is supplied by this median nerve loss of flexion at the thumb yes thumb that means thinner muscle are supplied by the median nerve so transaction of the median nerve causes loss of flexion at the thumb joint inability to oppose the, the inability to oppose the thumb yes it is also a thumb muscle so it is supplied by the median nerve so transaction of this median nerve uh, causes inability to oppose the thumb so our final answer this is not occur because complete loss will not be occur because the wrist joint or wrist muscles are supplied partly by the median nerve and partly by the ulnar nerve thank you all